I know we just had some Tomb Raider good news with the four through six remasters happening. It was glorious, but of course we have to have Tomb Raider bad news too, because that's just where Tomb Raider is at right now. There was this gigantic split between what's going on with the franchise, a bunch of bad stuff and a little bit of good stuff sprinkled in. So we're gonna, gonna talk about some bad stuff. Now we thought, I made a video about this because some insider claimed that the Phoebe Waller Bridge live action Tomb Raider Amazon thing was going to get scrapped. He's like, it's not gonna see the light of day. There's no way. But apparently we've gotten updates on that and that is not the case. So unfortunately we will see Lara Croft ruined Yet again, we already just saw her ruined in the Netflix animation and had to be embarrassed, had to have our hero, my hero at least, embarrassed and humiliated in front of everybody. I made a tweet about this. I said, I swear, this is a humiliation ritual for Lara Croft at this point. I really, what else is it? Why do they keep doing this? Now, for, to, to clear any confusion for people, if they're like, what's going on? How come we're getting these like amazing classic Tomb Raider remasters, but then we're also getting this garbage, like the Netflix stuff that changes Lara Croft beyond recognition and doesn't even have the real Lara Croft. Why are we getting both of these things? I know it makes no sense. It is absolutely retarded for brand recognition, for brand consistency and all that kind of stuff. You have to realize we are dealing with Crystal Dynamics who have been in charge of the property for a very long time and have run it to the ground and have ruined it and have made it beyond uh, unrecognizable. And that's why we get stuff like the Netflix thing. That is continuing the path that Crystal Dynamics wants to take Tomb Raider in their next mainline game. These remasters are not Crystal Dynamics. This is Embracer who bought the studios, who bought the IP, they were like, hey, let's go ahead and make these remasters happen for people. And they were outsourced to Saber Interactive, who developed it, and Aspire, who published it. People want to argue about this because on all of the press releases and the announcements, they always try to give Crystal Dynamics credit. Oh, Crystal Dynamics and Aspire announced this, even though Crystal Dynamics have, do not make these. But they, their involvement in these is putting a disclaimer disavowing them. That is their involvement. Don't believe me? Look at the freaking credits because I'm sick and tired of people not believing me when I talk about this. For some reason, they are wanting to hide the fact that Saber Interactive are the developers on this. Why? I don't know. But uh, they, they try to hide it. But uh, they are in the credits. I also know people who are on the development team. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Amazon MGM Studios head Jennifer Salk provided an update on the company's live action Tomb Raider project that is being helmed by Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge. You know, she ruined Indiana Jones and she wants to ruin Tomb Raider as well. And they're letting her do it. That's what happens with in Hollywood right now with these... I don't get it. You fail upwards. You fail upwards now. You ruin people's beloved long ongoing properties and fails sales tank and then they get to, to ruin another one i don't know why but this is a thing okay so speaking with variety salk said tomb raider is really exciting and phoebe is well into it and working in close partnership with tomb raider general manager dallas dickinson and the game producer is going to be very exciting that's how you know it's going to be terrible because she's working with people who have been responsible for some of the things we're seeing like in the Netflix adaptation. So this is, she's not working with anybody from the classic remaster team. No, of course not. And the people on the classic remaster team, mind you, are actual hardcore Tomb Raider fans. That's why the classic remasters are a dream come true and an absolute miracle for Tomb Raider fans. I can't, I could not imagine a better team who could produce something like this. It is it is a, an absolute blessing. So for that, I'm grateful. But unfortunately, we do not have that kind of involvement in other projects like this. Instead, they just want to consult the people who want to change Lara Croft into a 
character who cries every single episode on the Netflix anime animation or uh, who who they're trying to make look androgynous and who they are trying to give a girlfriend and this, that, and the other and completely just change everything about her, her motivations, her backstory, her family life, her this, that, and the other. Everything you think, I mean, something that people think is common knowledge, people who aren't versed on Tomb Raider, they think Lara Croft's parents died. That's not even, oh, Lara Croft's dad was an archaeologist and she's following his footsteps. They think that's common lore. It's not. Things like that, that's not even real. Lara Croft's parents disowned her because she chose a life of adventure instead of going with their arranged marriage for her. And uh, she she didn't want that. She wanted a life of adventure instead. They disowned her. She makes her own money. She inherited her manor from her aunt. Uh, there's, all, there's a gigantic lore behind this that people don't even know because they've been brainwashed by this retcons these retcons that's been happening so anyway however she concluded but i don't have any new updates salk's comments come in the wake of speculation from hollywood insiders that the project would not come to fruition leslie goldberg at puck reported amazon is now searching for a star to play lara croft in a live action tomb raider series written by waller bridge that has many insiders placing bets on whether it will ever come to fruition i don't know i don't have much hope in whoever they would cast for this role given how she looked in the netflix adaptation I'll just say that much um one insider allegedly told the outlet that's a deal for saving face okay so amazon mgm studios announced it was bringing phoebe waller bridge on board to write and executive produce the show in the wake of indiana jones and the dial of destiny bombing at box offices where she plays helena shaw in a press release in may the company announced today at its inaugural upfront presentation prime video announced that it has ordered a tomb raider series with phoebe waller bridge set as the writer and executive producer the series is based on the iconic tomb raider video game franchise which follows event yes lara croft all that so it added the project comes as a part of a deal between Crystal Dynamics and Amazon MGM Studios, which, by the way, Amazon is also funding the next mainline game, which you can expect to be a gigantic trash fire, especially ju judging by the leaks that we've had thus far. I have a ton of videos about that. You know what I just realized? Phoebe Waller Bridge looks like freaking... <laughs> Why does the Netflix Lara Croft look like Phoebe Waller Bridge? They gave her the same chin. What? Oh my goodness. Lara Croft Netflix. It's. What? You know how we talk about how they gave her a giant chin? Oh my goodness. That's it. They gave her Phoebe Waller Bridge chin look let me move myself see i like it's not big enough of a picture crap i can't zoom in on it but yeah that's what they did no but here's the thing in the tomb raider netflix thing they definitely androgenized her and um it was very deliberate to take away a lot of her feminine qualities so anyway She's going to pretend like Lara Croft means a lot to her and that she's a fan and all this stuff, just like the Netflix writers pretended the same. But then guess what? They gave us that trash fire that was completely unrecognizable as Lara Croft, and it was just dumb. And when they're in the writers bragging with headlines that say, oh, Lara Croft, they traded her cup size for sweat stains now yeah like female empowerment she no longer has a feminine physique now she has sweat stains and is a uh, very boyish that is supposed to be a, a flex for them anyway so yeah she wants to pretend like she's a fan she wants to pretend like She's the same, same stuff as Tasha Ho did. Pretend like she's a fan. Oh my gosh, and Legend is my favorite. I can't believe how hard that game is when Legend is the easiest game in the entire series. You can play it with your eyes closed practically. It's a very easy, like you can beat it in just a few hours. There's no thought process needed at all for any of the puzzles 
There's no real, it's very linear. There's no real exploration to be had. Now, if you play on hard mode, some of the combat can be kind of difficult, um, but that's not even Tomb Raider. That Tomb Raider's difficulty mostly lies in figuring out puzzles and also locating uh, appropriate keys, levers, things like that. Like, oh man, I need a key to get here. Where do I get that? Oh, I need to backtrack a little bit. I need to do this. So it's just a completely different gameplay dynamic. Um, but anyway, thankfully we do have these remasters that are coming again. Credits to, I might make an entire video about this because let me know if you want to see that in the comments because I do want people to know the truth for the developers who are working on this who aren't getting the credit that they deserve because everybody, and even at some point, I was just accrediting Aspire because that's what you just see everywhere. But no, it is Saber Interactive. Actually, look at the credits. You'll find those who developed the gameplay itself, Saber Interactive. Uh, they hired a team of super fans to do this. So uh, let me know if you want me to make a video about that. Uh, anyway. There you have it for this video. Unfortunately, this Phoebe Waller-Bridge nightmare will be happening. Uh, so, seemingly, there's still time it could be canceled, I guess. But, yeah. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And if you want me to read the Bible to you, you can check out my Bible channel where I read every single day at Bible Time with Melanie Mack. Thank you all again. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime... Go boom.